Well, good morning. It's uh, Thursday morning, and I'd like to invite you to our service uh, this coming Sunday at 10 o'clock. We do have a Bible class at 845 that is mm -hmm. just great. I'll tell you, um, uh, don't don't come hung. I mean, come hungry because they got lots yeah, of food. Yeah, they always have plenty. Yeah, of good. They, uh, you don't have to eat breakfast. Yeah, There's breakfast. But here. they do a great job. Um, um, uh, Gene and Ron Arnett in leading that group in there, and it's it's growing, and people are just you know, again, they're voicing what they believe, and in this discussion, and that's what it is. They just have a great time in that. So that's eight forty-five every Sunday, and then our worship service starts at ten o'clock on Sunday. Praise God. Well, today is Thursday, and the day of title of our devotion is "Our Only Hope Is Jesus." Amen. You know, I wrote this down, Marcia. Hope equals a joyful expectation. Amen. 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 I love that definition of that. Acts chapter two, verse twenty-six and twenty-seven. Therefore did my heart rejoice. And my tongue was glad. Moreover, also my flesh, listen, my flesh shall rest in hope. Amen. Speak to your flesh. Speak hope to your flesh. Because thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thy holy one to see corruption. And of course, this verse of scripture is speaking of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And because he lives we live and we have hope mm -hmm. uh, in our lives. Really, it is the only hope that is in the world. Right. It is really the only hope is in our faith in Jesus Christ. And we may be speaking to someone today who is not born again, mm -hmm. who you've really not uh, accepted Jesus Christ, and you are in a quandary about what is going on in the world today. I don't blame you. I mean, I look at the world, and the world is just turned upside down. The things that we have always thought as foundational truths, you know, like being a man or being a woman and not well, being an it. And, and then the things that are uh, in the world today, there's diseases that there's no heal, no, no medicine for. Yeah. There's, there's uh, uh, problems that man can't solve. They're trying. We think we're all so smart and all the technology and everything that we've come to. But, you know, the truth is, the truth is the Word of God. Yes, amen. There's no answer but Jesus amen. Christ. Well, the Scripture says in 1 Corinthians 15, verses 19 through 26, Paul gives this dissertation, and he says, If in this life only we have hope. Amen. Amen. We, we have to have hope more than just in this life. I love living. I love the life that I have in God. I love that life. But this is not all of my hope. Amen. No. I mean, I, I don't. My my hope in Jesus doesn't rest on whether everything goes right in my life, whether I never get sick. What it doesn't rest that. It rests in the fact that I know that not only do I have hope in this life, but I have hope in the life to come. Yes. Amen. You know, I like this paragraph we put down here. It says, "All too often." True, uh, it's true for believers as unbelievers. It shouldn't be, but it is. Believers are being killed by the same diseases that are devastating the rest of the world. They're being plagued by the same problems, and many are walking around without hope, just like the rest of the world. Yeah. Yeah. They look at us if we're like this, and we're not talking healing, we're not talking health, we're not talking pro you know the prosperity of God, the goodness of God, and that we're no different than them. That's what God, God wants his children to be above that. Amen. He, that's our hope, isn't it? Amen. What, what happens is, though, Marcia, people lose the stability in their lives. Mm -hmm. This is what we've seen in COVID. COVID has turned the world upside I mean, down. Yes. You know? I mean, you look at, at jobs, but you look at schools, the kids. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's like they lost two years of their lives. Yeah. Because of COVID. You you walk around with a mask on your face, That's you know. Right. I mean, you can't go into the hospital without putting a mask on. I can't go to my physical therapy without having a mask on, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, all of these things have changed, you know, all of the, I mean, I never could understand what was the magic number of six feet between people. How did they it come up a, with that? They, they, they just, just uh, arbitrarily a, said that. There was a way to control people. So they must have looked and, at somebody. If somebody sneezed, how far would the sneeze go? No. Oh, six feet, five and a half. Well, let's just round it to six well, feet. Whatever. You know? 
you know, but, but everybody is going to be different than that. But instead of being filled with the word and with faith, Christians are being stuffed full of their religious traditions yep. and their superstitions Amen. and the things that, and they're suffering. You know, when the devil hits them with sickness and disease or with poverty or depression or divorce, they often stand by helplessly as it destroys them. So how do we keep from them being destroyed, Pastor? Amen. By yes. the knowledge of the Word of God. Yes, that's With right. Hosea 4, 6. My people are destroyed. Now listen, he's saying my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Not the world out there. Christians. Christians, Christians don't have the knowledge Amen. of the Word of God. And so we've you, got to get in the Word. We've got to teach the Word. We, don't, we need to quit telling stories from the pulpit, just stories, and we need to start teaching the Word of God. Oh, if you come to Faith honor. Impact Church, let me tell you something. You're going to be taught the Word of God. The Here's hope. what God says, okay? Oh. And that Word creates that hope on the inside. Amen. Say amen. 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 Well, praise God. We love you. Blessed day. Have a blessed day in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.